I V M. So it's been another great week at IVM Podcast. And if you aren't following us on social media, please make sure you do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the major social media networks. This week on the Pragati Podcast, Pawan and Hamsani talk to economist Anupam Manohar about how India is tackling creating new jobs. On the Pulia Bazi show, tune into part two of Pranay's interview with China expert Manoj Keval Romani. On Simplified in a Shorty, Shriket Chuck and Narain give interesting tidbits about the qualifying round of the 2018 World Cup. On Cyrus Says This Week, Cyrus has a conversation with friend of the network Vivek Call about the economy. On Who's Your Mommy, Veda and her friends discuss the strange and disturbing questions they've been asked by their kids. On Keeping It Queer, Naveen talks to non-binary Instagram sensation Diane Rebello. On Vartha Lab last week, Akash and Naveen exchanged some hilarious stories with Balraj Gai, owner of the Hotel Intercontinental and The Habitat. And with that, let me get you on to your shows. Hey guys, how are you doing today? For all who have tuned in, I hope you've been working on the mindset shared in the previous episodes. And I hope you are ready to make a powerful breakthrough today because we are identifying and letting go of our limiting beliefs. Welcome to the Positively Unlimited podcast and this is episode 12 of the A to Z of Positive Action series on IBM Podcasts. For those who are tuning in for the first time, all previous episodes are available on IBM Podcast app website and other podcast platforms. So make sure you've listened to those too because if you've tuned in, it's because you're ready to change that which isn't working for you anymore. Limiting beliefs. Hmm. I wonder what those are. Well, they're things we tell ourselves which aren't entirely true. For example, that person who hates her job, somewhere deep down dreams of having her own setup but does not have an idea to save her life. And is too busy repeating, I can never do business because I'm very bad with money. The truth is, she cannot do business till she figures out what that business will be about. And when she learns to manage money is when she will make it happen. But she is limiting herself by believing she is incapable or the circumstances are not in her favor. There are many such stories we tell ourselves. But the truth is that we aren't incapable of anything. And no, the universe is not conspiring against you. You haven't received the shorter end of any stick. Remember, the universe is always on our side. But we have to also realize and acknowledge that we have it in us to learn new things, to climb mountains, quite literally, face hardships, and even start over irrespective of the age. So I want you to think about what beliefs have you created and which of those chains need to be broken as of yesterday? Is this belief about work or love or about you as a person? Quickly make a note of it, a sentence or two. Another aspect to think about is whether this limiting belief was instilled in you by someone else, intentionally or unintentionally. Things your parents or siblings have said about you. Not because they don't love you enough, but because we all have opinions and perspectives about each other. In such a scenario, you could be role-playing, being that person they see you as. Make note of this too. Spend a few days just observing these tales you spin in your head and you'll realize how much you aren't doing only because of the illusion of an obstacle. Say you want to do something and you keep repeating, but my parents will never agree. Yes, in some cases this may be the truth and the only option you have is to go against them. But in some cases, the truth may be that they won't agree at first. That the idea you wish to share will anger them or that they are too afraid to allow you to do such things. This truth is a workable one. It's a huge wall which has a door that can be opened, unlike the never agree, which is a stone wall that cannot be broken without breaking the relationship. Think about your words. Learn to see and admit the truth instead of getting bound by your perception of it. Who do you want to be? What do you want to achieve? First, identify this. Write it down in simple, clear sentences. Below it, make two columns. One titled, My Truth, and the other, The Truth. Then, under My Truth, write all the reasons it can never happen. You'll get your list of limiting beliefs. Some will be about how you aren't equipped or good enough, while some will be about others not supporting you or circumstances being against you. Now, under the truth, 
which is column 2, write the reality. For example, your truth may be that your parents won't help. But the reality may be that you aren't sure if your parents will understand or help and that you're too afraid to talk to them. Changing won't to aren't sure they won't is a big step to figuring things out because it now allows you to think about how to make them understand or help, how to gather the courage to speak up and to make it happen. Yes, the other reality to wrap your head around is that you are going to have to make an effort and in most cases, consistent effort. It could also involve taking tiny steps and hence, this will take time. So you will have to be patient and persistent. Become aware of your words. Listen to yourself. What do you say about yourself? How do you describe yourself and your life? To break free of limiting beliefs, change the way you speak. Next to the two columns you've created, my truth and the truth, create a third column called my new truth. Rewrite your belief in this column. Take the limiting belief from column one and write the opposite of it. So, my parents won't help can become, my parents love and understand me. I'm figuring an appropriate way to reach out to them. The next step is to use these words every time you think and speak about the situation instead of the previous limiting belief. It will take presence of mind to correct yourself in the beginning. But you will slowly, with practice, change it into a subconscious act. And as your words change, your thinking changes, your belief will change. When your belief changes, your actions change and eventually your reality can change. Thank you so much for tuning in. With every episode I record, I send out wishes of beautiful change for each and every one of you. May you find your way to your true self one letter at a time. You can connect with me on Instagram, look for Positivity Angel and all previous episodes are on IVM Podcast app, website and all other podcast platforms. For more information about the work I do and to order your copy of the A to Z of Positive Action deck, log on to my website, circleofpositivity.com. Until next Monday, break free and become all that you truly are. There she stands, a podcast addict. Outside the bank, having traveled several miles to get in with other poor souls like her, the journey, though daunting for this youngling, will have some comfort because she has downloaded her favorite podcast. You can see more of her species on ivmpodcasts.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.